I considered straightening the table, but I figured it best not to disturb the evidence. Oh, my head. Never again. How much vodka did I drink? Oh, no, don't tell me. What is your name, Shelley? George Stobart, ma'am. Oh, American. She asked the question quite innocently, but I could sense her reserve. It was something which seemed to afflict all Europeans. You look like you could use a little help. I could use a little drink. I feel sick, dizzy, and bruised. I don't even remember the party. Just relax and take it easy. You've been knocked out. You don't say. What happened? There's been an explosion. You should try not to move. Are you a doctor? No, but I used to play hospitals when I was a kid. Can you remember anything at all? No. I need a drink. Pour me a brandy. Is that straight or with ice? Just give me the bottle with a teat on it. I guess a little drop won't hurt. Ah, that's better. She knocked back the brandy as if it was water. I was glad I wasn't picking up the check. What about the old man? Is he dead? I don't know. I haven't looked at him yet. Perhaps you should... An old beggar is peddling his wares in the village. He offers a variety of... Good day, peddler. Good day, sir. If you would like to get one of my fine new lamps, I'll need an old lamp in trade. Isn't it a rather bad business? Taking old lamps and giving new lamps in exchange? Well, there's always a chance that I'll find a genie. <laughs> if I had a genie, I'd be richer than a king. Besides, there's always a roaring business in antique luminaries. Alexander will have to deal with the lamp seller if he wants to obtain one of those new lamps. There are rose bushes back by the house, as well as the ones on the fence. Somebody who loves roses must live here. Alexander can't see any way to hold a conversation with that. You lazy thing! Get back to work and stay away from those roses! I've told you a million times, those flowers are too sweet for the likes of you! You've still got to do the breakfast dishes, make lunch, and clean the stables yet this morning! And get your veil back on! No one wants to look at your face! Yes, stepmother. The road seems strangely empty and unoccupied. This town looks unnaturally quiet. 
What a quaint general store with a little bit of everything for day-to-day -day existence. The countertop feels very smooth. I'm, I'm sorry, Mr. Dawson, but you'll have to pay for that. Serve yourself, Mr. Dawson. There's a container of Russian sardines. Exploring our collections can be dangerous, Mr. Uh, what was your name again? Smith. Tell me, did you find a lock to match my key? You bet I did. Take a look. What are you waiting for? Let's open it. Why not? It's an obvious fake. You may think so, Doctor. But I believe we are opening a new chapter in history. My word, India, small metal bead. Jewelry, perhaps? I still think it's a fake. Then you won't mind if I take it. Really, Mr. Smith? Stand back, gentlemen. I hope you've got a getaway car waiting. You'll need one. Hmm. What is fights? He got away. But we got his coat, Marcus. Hey, what's this? Klaus Kerner, huh? Good Lord, Indy, the man's some sort of agent from the Third Reich. What is the spy one for the Buddhist statue? <sighs> I lied, Marcus. I don't think it's a phony. I can't place the style, but it's old. Look what else our friend was carrying. An old copy of National Archaeology. And there you are in Iceland. Yeah, field supervisor for the Jastro expedition. My first real job. Who's the woman? Sophia Hapgood. She was my assistant, a spoiled rich kid from Boston, rebelling against her family. But where is she now? She gave up archaeology to become a psychic. How odd. You can say that.
experiment, my favorite. It's stuck to the floor. Neat. Nineteen fifty two. The Chicago Manual of Thermodynamic Flux Induction Circuit Design. Great stuff! Aha! A secret passage. This is all too easy. Laverne, how'd you get upstairs? Am I upstairs? I got lost. Seen any tentacles? What's a tentacle? Oh, just something I whipped up in my spare time. Made good pets, actually. Until one of them tried to take over the world and to tie the little buggers up in the basement. Good thing you told us that. Yeah, Bernard wanted us to set them free. Thank God you weren't that stupid. Did you say Bernard? Okay, you're free to go. Thanks, Bernard. Yes, thank you, naive human. Now I can finish taking over the world. <laughs> Wait! Oh, yeah. Now I remember. He's incredibly evil, isn't he? Uh, I'll try to talk him out of it. Well, what possible harm could one insane mutant tentacle do? Leaping Labrats! Dr. Fred! What have you done this time, you 